Hey, this is Caio. And this is Mike. From EssentialDeveloper.com. Tomato 15. So last time we finished the navigation controller router and now it's time to implement the view controller factory. Right now it's just a protocol. And I think we should start by moving it to its own file. Yeah. Let's move it. And we need to import the quiz engine. And let's get rid of this. And UI kit. Run the test. Is everything okay? And it's all good. Let's open this in the top pane. And let's create a test. What should we call this factory? iPhone or? iPhone. iOS. iOS. Right. iOS. View controller factory. That's the concrete implementation. Yes. Okay. And test. Import exit tests. Let's create our tests. The first thing we need to implement is the question view controller method. So tests question view controller creates controller. Something like that. So we need to assert that the controller is a question view controller. Uh, yeah. So maybe not new. And we call sut dot question view controller for any question right here let's use we can have a answer a helper yeah at some point we're gonna need that and an answer callback now it's empty okay and we need to capture this and you need to cast it yes and we want it to be a question view controller something like that yes and we need to import a quiz app and make it Testable import. And we need to create SUT. SUT is an iOS view controller factory. That's it. Let's run. Uh -huh. Okay, and we don't have it. Yeah, we don't have it. Uh, main app, yes. And uh, let's put this in the right pane. And go back to our test. So let's just create this class here. Get rid of this. And let's see now. Yeah, it doesn't conform to the protocol. We can do this here and we can return just a YV controller. Okay, that should make it fail. Yeah, but then we need to also implement this one. And UI kit. And import UI kit. Oh, and, and the import the quiz engine. engine because we're using the result here. Yes. It doesn't know what the result is. Okay, it's running the test and it fails. Perfect. So now we can just return a question in the controller. All right, there it is. Okay. So we need to pass some things to the question of the controller. We need the question. Initializing is a question. Options, it's an array okay. of strings. Okay, things are getting interesting now. We don't pass the options here. So it means we need to start the factory with options. Okay. So let's create a new test. So question view controller creates controller with options. So we need to give options here. At some point we can have a data provider. That's what I was thinking, that injecting the options there, I think it's fine for now. It's just simple data, right? Someone is responsible for providing these options. Yes, definitely. Can be a data source. Let's start simple, mm -hmm. TDG, simple. So let's use this, single answer, Q1, and an answer. Okay. Okay. We start with options and we need to assert that controller dot table view. Well, then we need to start the view. So to test this factory now, we are having to create a lot of setup mm -hmm. to test it. And we are retesting. It's a repeated code also. Right? We are retesting like the view side of it. Another thing we can do is to expose this internally. Yeah. Well, as private set, right? Yeah, we don't want it settable. Read only. Okay, read only. So we can have a private set. Yes. Like this. Exactly. An internal getter and a private setter. Yeah. So here I can get options and compare with this. So it's an array of options. Here we're going to have an array A1 as well. That's it. So to make this better, let's create a question and let's have answers. It's an array. A1, A2, or let's call this options. Yeah, 
So options is a dictionary of question and options. Well, if I create a question view controller for this question with any answer callback, I want to get the same options in the view controller. That's it. So here now we need a private let options and that is question string. And we're gonna have a problem here as well. So dictionary, yeah. question string string. We can init with options. And we set our options. Set our options equal options. That should be fine now, but we're gonna break this one. So options empty. Aha, uh -huh. this needs to be an array of strings. And not unwrapped. So that's why we should force this. Now we have a test. Now we have a failing test. Fantastic. So now we can have a question and options and we can pass options for a question and we give it an empty callback. And the options here. Uh -huh. oh, right. This is going to crash. If we don't have the questions. That's why a data source would be better there. Hmm. And it does crash. So it crashed in the first test, of course. We could make it work by doing this. Yeah. And now we can transform the test now to test that we are getting the question. So I can make sure that my controller question is Q1. So I need to unwrap the enum here. And it fails because we are hard coding it empty. So what we have to do here is to switch the question and case single answer we get the value and you return we return this and default we return a UI view controller yeah and I need to give you the value here and it passes so it may be the 15th tomato here but I think it's important to, to say that when we run the tests we run all of them right and I'm referring to the cross that we had earlier and it was because of the first test right Yes, we changed something in production and we broke the first test. So it crashed. Because everything we do, we hit command U, they run all the tests. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be notified straight away. Everything we do, we run the test. And of course, as the project gets bigger and you have more and more classes, this can take more time, but it's a good solution instead of just running one by one. Yeah, and if it gets very slow, we can separate things yep. in different modules, right? Exactly. In different projects. Okay, so this is the single case. Can we rename the test, please? Because we are testing the question. Yes. Creates controller with question. Yes. And, well, we did something that I don't like. We exposed this just because of testing. True. We said it's, it's fine because it's read-only. <laughs> yes. Which is okay. There are other solutions. We could have tested as we started, testing the view and retesting everything about it. And there's, there's a lot of assumptions in there. We might change how things appear here and we will break the factory. Mm -hmm. Because if we change this to a collection view at some point, we will break this factory that has nothing to do with the appearance. So again, it's a trade-off. Other thing we could do is instead of having tests for this iOS view controller factory separated, we could change our question view controller tests to use the factory here. Mm -hmm. And we automatically test everything through the factory. The problem is that if you run this test against the TVOS now, it will be harder to inject the right factory. Right, you have to have a mechanism. Yeah, for the tests. We could have a more integration test in here. We could even try that. I'm willing to, to see the solution also. Okay. So what we can do is to use the factory in here now. And that's the great thing about having an interface there, you know, a helper, just make SUT. The tests have no idea how the SUT Yes. Got into them. So now we can create our factory. We control the factory and we need to pass our options. Mm -hmm. Here we need to create a dictionary of question dot single answer and we are passing the question. The question and the answer. Well the options. The options are the options. Are the options that we get from this method. And now we can get the SUT question for question. And the answer callback is the selection. And we have a problem because our 
protocol here expects the answer callback to be one string and we miss this it should be an array of strings so let's fix it okay so that was a good exercise we can make this an array now and we're gonna break our router just gonna have to change this here well here now it gets an array of strings so what is the problem now ah this should be an array of strings as well and we have some more failures here that's our ios factory it needs to get also an array expected yeah the results are now an array and the same in here and in here so this also needs to be an array now yeah, it's expecting a, the question parameter it gets is a string, but it's expecting a question enum type. Okay, so we need to create a question in here, right? Yep. Well, it cannot have the same name, so question type, and we pass a question type, and we need to unwrap this. Yes. Let's see. And everything fails. Failure everywhere. It's because we are now testing our factory. And that's a failing test because our factory is not finished. We should pass it here. Of course. Our answer callback. Uh, it's selection. Selection. And it all passes now. Okay. And we don't need to make this private anymore. So now we have this kind of integration test. So we have a factory that are creating that for us. Private set, you mean? Oh, yeah, we can get rid of this. Yeah. Okay. And get rid of those isolated tests. But now the trade-off is that when we have different targets, like tvOS, or the watch, or macOS, we're gonna have to write this test again. Or find a way of switching the factory in here. So this iOS factory should only be loaded for iOS. So then we can have a factory provider for the tests. And that might work. That's the trade-off. It's gonna complicate a little bit, but it keeps our interface private, right? Yeah, definitely. The problem is like if you have another factory. Yeah, you will need to have someone switching for you. Yeah. What do you think? I like both. I don't mind exposing these getters. Getters, yep. No one talks to this question with controller directly. Everything goes through factories, so I have no problem exposing these getters. But then we complicate, like, how are we going to test this selection? And then we have to have a test to make sure we are passing the right block in here as well. Right. It's a trade-off. I just wanted to show that we can do it in this way, but I want to go back and test the factory in isolation. Okay, let's go for it. Let me just roll back this. Okay. I think we can stop here for this tomato. Yeah, we didn't do much, but we talked a lot about options. Yeah. And that's very important. We are demonstrating different ways you can test your code. All valid depend on your needs. Well, there's not only one right way, but there's definitely a lot of wrong ways of doing stuff. So it's nice to have more than one option. And you do whatever you have to do. You are the engineer. It's up to you. It's your responsibility. Cool. Cool. Let's finish this factory in the next tomato. Okay.